Hey guys, welcome to day three here in Las Bezia and Cinque Terre. We, if you've been following along, we've been in Rome the past two days and we just got here last night. So we're gonna go check out Cinque Terre today. Yep, taking the train over there. It's gonna be amazing. Yep, Woo! let's do it. We're going to Monterosa uh, today, which is the Italian uh, version of the Ponderosa. That's the humor for you, Grandpa. Or is that actually true? It's true, there's cowboys everywhere. Well, okay, I guess I'm the humor then. Now that we're on the train, we gotta take a 20 minute train ride to Monterosso and to Cinque Terre, the five cities. Here we are, Monterosso. Monterosso. This is absolutely insane. This is a dreamland, basically. Mountains and beach combined. I mean, you don't get that really anywhere and in the sandy beaches like in the Pacific Northwest the rock beaches this is like crazy do they have mountain biking So we got the chocolate donut, the custard, croissant. the mom. Yeah. Double, double macchiato. Yep. We got chocolate croissants like in Israel. Mm -hmm. I was already digging into it. Yep, so let's eat this. First bite, I'm already inside the chocolate part and uh, it's pretty crazy. Custard to the chocolate, yep. It's like a, it's like a chocolate pudding inside. It's so yeah. good. Check out this cactus here in Italy. Nice. Just look at how beautiful this water is. It's clear blue. Oh, it's getting in. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Are you gonna put it in? Hey guys, standing on the Ligurian Sea in the uh, town of Monterosso. One of the five villages in Cinque Terre. I'm probably pronouncing that at least halfway wrong. But uh, man, it's beautiful here, guys. Take a look around. Getting Cinque Terre vibes. Walking through the tunnel right now. Going through the secret tunnel. To get to the next view. And the ferry. Monterosso, but we're heading to Vernaza, which is the next town in the Cinque Terre area. We're in Vernaza now. Woo! So we've had some friends that have been here before a couple of years ago and they've recommended this restaurant called The Lunchbox. We're gonna head there now and check it out. And here it is. The one, the only lunchbox that we've heard of. Here we are, this is where we're eating and uh, we're getting some sandwiches. It looks pretty good. We got a pesto one. 
now we got Sour Priority Street and find some gelato. We can't go to Italy without getting some gelato. We got to keep our priorities straight. Gelato first. Bernaz is a really cool place to come, but you got if you want to get a full suit experience, come in the afternoon when everything is open. But uh, we gotta head to our next stop. We're gonna run to the boat basically for a run tour on time. Look at this big old guy. Pesto, some ham in there, lettuce, tomatoes. Manarola. Wow, this is pretty. These rocks, these are just so unique. It's like weird patches of white on them. It's so beautiful. This is by far some of the most incredible sights we've seen so far on this trip. They are natural. Being warned of dangerous descent. Well, duh, I mean, nobody can really walk off that. You'll die if you jump anything, basically. Wow, look at these rocks. It's just so beautiful out here. Some of the prettiest terrain we'll see. This has been by far our favorite place today so far of all the five Cinque Terre places. It is beautiful, peaceful, quiet, and shaded and pretty out temperature wise. Totally recommend coming to this place out of all. There's a small little waterfall down there and it's very pretty. Just a nice little waterfall in the middle of the, we'll call it Mediterranean. Not really the Mediterranean, but uh, it's the same water that touches the Mediterranean. So I'm just gonna stick to calling it that. Just know that it's not actually Mediterranean. Goodbye, Monarola. It's nice while it lasted. Here we are in Rio Maggiore. And uh, it's pretty nice out here. It's just a built into the city. It's in one street, I've, it looks like, and it's pretty cool. How do you feel about this treacherous stair climb? It's. We're doing it. Way down. All for some July. You can do this. Come on, you're This is officially awful. We we'll climbed at least 100 vertical feet in the course of 100 feet. It's crazy, maybe even more. 
Okay guys, walking down it is actually way worse because if you trip, you're gonna get really hurt and that is not fun compared to walking up and being tired. After all that climbing, we're right back where we were sadly. We wasted a lot of energy just climbing up those steep stairs and we're right back. Fantas over here are all natural supposedly, which is funny. Tastes good, just different. We've been to Monte Rosso, Vernazza, and uh, Manarola, but uh, Rio Maggiore is definitely the worst spot so far. It's not that it's bad, but for not being, having a lot of people not out of shape and stuff, it's really hard to make these climbs. It's steep, it's crowded. There's not a lot of spots open in restaurants, so I would not recommend coming to this specific island, but all others have been great. It's still good, it's just not what we expected it to be. We also thought this was gonna be our last uh, city for the Cinque Terre area, but uh, actually we're gonna do one more due to boat schedules and we're gonna try and find some gelato there. If we don't, that'll be hilarious and sad. Okay, we have a bonus stop on this uh, trip to Cinque Terre, and it is Porto Venere. Woo! Here we are. Yeah. And uh, it's a beautiful backdrop with castles and uh, ancient fortresses, it looks like. Yeah, and there was a Middle church, St. Peter Catholic Church out on the rock, out on the point. Okay. Right Medieval churches. Yep. Yeah, pretty cool so far. Now we gotta look for gelato though. Okay. That's the one thing we haven't done. We got two scoops of the Trostraciatella here at the Moon Cafe and one Cremio hazelnut, which is basically Nutella. We got the same thing over here. Is it good? It's really good. So what'd you get? Well, I got uh, the uh, cremini and the hazelnut and the, the Nutella and then uh, Straciatella. Yeah, I think basically the same thing that you got. Okay, everybody's getting the same thing. The music is really loud here, I know, but this is really good, this ice cream. It makes up for it, trust me. Yeah, and then uh, we got about 40 minutes till our next boat ride, and then we gotta pack up and leave for Milan tonight. We're heading out of Italy in two days. The two scoops of vanilla and chocolate it balance out each other perfectly, which is really nice. All right, how was that ice cream? That was the best vanilla shake I think I've ever had, and I've had a lot of vanilla shakes. Okay, that's a bold statement. Wow, it was really good. I love mine. Reminds me of at home when I get where I get my favorite ice cream that I can never get anywhere else. Really, how was that ice cream? Delicioso. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> where are we heading? What's up, guys? We are heading back to Lesbizia, and we are taking a train to Milan to finish off the day. I think that's really it. We might yep. get some dinner. We got our Mountain View right there. Yes. And we got the boat. And me. Officially off the boat, guys, and uh, now we gotta go grab our bags and head home. It's actually very beautiful here at the entrance to the Spezia with palm trees surrounding everywhere. It's reminding me a lot of California right here. California. Beaches and the trees. What about Hawaii? That too. Yep. Mostly California. Yep. It's very. It's nice out here. Yeah. That's the answer. What a treat on the walk back to get these beautiful sycamores and palm trees. That's the birch tree right there. Yeah? I mean, the skin looks like a sycamore. It's so beautiful out though. The beautiful fountain during the day instead of at night. It's so pretty at night, but there's a big tunnel down there too.
train station and we're 30 minutes early. So right now we're trying to figure out something to keep us occupied while we wait. Yeah. We're heading to Milan, so it's gonna be good, hopefully. We gotta go uh, northern Milan, I believe, because uh, we have to take a 30 to 40 minute Uber to get to our hotel. Then we're heading to Lake Como tomorrow, and that's gonna be really fun. Here we are. There we are. Dragia Blanca. Dragia Bianca. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video from Cinque Terre. We had so much fun filming and enjoying this place, the beautiful coast of Italy. You should totally check it out. And uh, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. We'll see you next time.